some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have an idiotic frauditor who likes to call himself the Hard Tard. And today, he is going to file a complaint on some officers while he's carrying a weapon and he's on probation. So, basically, if you take the prefix of re and add it to the stem word of tard, you will get the word that will describe him perfectly. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. See you a little bit ago? Uh, were you on the radio? It was a female, wasn't it? No, I spoke to him. I walked by. Colton, Col Col right? No, no, it's Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood, are you on probation parole? Well, I am, but I'm here to file a complaint. Well, I got you. misdemeanor probation. Is that a knife? Is that a knife? Yeah, it looks like a knife. Is that a knife? I'm asking you, Colton. No, that's not a knife. Okay. Colton, have you had search, search, search terms? Uh, well, yeah, but it's inappropriate to attack a victim coming to the police we'll, department we'll, to file a complaint. We'll look at there, okay? Do you have oh. anything illegal on you? No. Uh, do you mind if I search you? I don't feel like that right now. I'm here to file a complaint. I've been waiting a half hour. Okay, well, since you're on search term, then you're on probation. I'm going to search you, okay? Mm -hmm. Do me a favor. Can I send you back to the Oh, you knocked it over. Is that what you mean? Why don't you let me set that back up? I have no problem you setting that up. It's nothing illegal. You're twisting illegal. my fingers. Nothing illegal, Colton, on you both stabbed? Or anything crazy? I'm here to file a complaint to one of your officers. Well, you can follow that with people behind me. Now you're playing with my junk, knocked my camera over. At this point, it's pretty unclear what he pulled out of his pocket, so maybe they'll reveal it later on. You know how ridiculous you're making yourselves look? You know, I'm on misdemeanor probation for criminal threats. So are they not so Supposed to search you because you're threatening them now? But, like the video I just published the other day, I was completely answering those criminal threats. Now, I was a victim of criminal threats the other day, and you're also decided to do absolutely nothing. Which is why I'm here to complain. So, by you, Al, may you break my finger. You break my finger. Your nose might be broken. Could you at least make up your mind? Are you playing the victim or are you playing the aggressor? Because this is getting rather confusing. Sorry, Colton. I'm sorry, Colton. Sorry, Colton. You're twisting my finger. I twist. I'm not twisting anything. You right? Then I'll break it. Colton. I wouldn't try to. If you want to file a complaint, you can talk to my supervisor in a second, okay? After this physical assault. No, it's all search. You're searching someone who came to I'm complain. Not searching you, I'm searching you, Paul. You're touching Mr. Wood. Yes, I am. Uh, the search goes on for a while. I'm just going to skip to the better parts. Well, I always take a while, Colton. Nah, belonging to the physical real. contact. So now you're going to have me sit away from my camera. Hi, right, Colton. Take a seat for me, okay? Five minutes later. Hey, Colton. Mr. Wood, what's the pass? What's the code to search your bag? I don't have to give that out. I don't want Aren't you on search terms, like we explained? Uh, yeah, but I don't have to give you information. No, uh, no, but this is this is your bag, right? I don't have to answer your question. Hey, on your probation terms, it states they can search you anytime they need to. So you might as well give them the code, or they'll open the bag without it. Uh, the long bitch that was out here is the one that lied on me. Knows that I'm innocent. She put me on probation by committing perjury. You know, I just did a Freedom of Information Act for you know the the cameras and stuff from when she arrested me, so I could show how she lied in her police report. She says I kept rambling about my stalker. What I really said was I have a recording of everything that happens. You know what that recording shows? I'm completely innocent. Fucking fully vandalizing my my wallet. Fifteen minutes later. 
I called just the wood. Is cooperating with law enforcement for your search and seizure for your search term? Is that part of your the term you signed up for? I have the right to remain silent. You I'm do. here to file a written complaint. You Other do. than that, I don't have anything to say. You also sign uh, that you will cooperate with law enforcement when, when they search your personal belongings, right? When they're in probation? That doesn't require me to divulge my personal information like past those. Many, many minutes later. So you you've since learned that I was innocent, though. Colton? I have no idea if you're innocent, and if you were innocent, you would be no longer on probation. So, do you want to open this for us? Oh, so you're innocent of all the charges, but you've been sitting here threatening the officers the whole time. So, I don't buy that one bit. No, I don't want to. I'm going to file You may not like, want to, but we would like your cooperation. Can you compel please? me? Um, we can just cut the bag open, technically. Oh, hell no, you're not being allowed. That. That's a nice bag. That's a brand name. So now we're trying to be nice. We're trying to cooperate. We're, we're just trying to get your cooperation. So you turn off my cameras. You're, not, you're putting all these impediments in the way. First of all, it took a half hour. And then you put all these impediments in the way of me filing a report. Now it seems like Call this is your talent. As toward. soon as we get through this, we'll be more than willing to hear you out as far as your complaint goes. So we're asking for your cooperation. You don't have to tell us your passcode, because I understand privacy. But it's another you, thing about If you would unlock that for us, you didn't, from if you would unlock that for us, we could get on with this. We could go through your backpack real quick, and then we could get on to what you really came here for. Or you could just do your job and stuff. Right? We are going to do our job, and we're going to be thorough and very professional here. Really so, thorough? Because the other yes, day, the, the bitch said she couldn't have time to watch the video. I don't know who the bitch is. The one I'm complaining about. Okay, I have no idea who that she is. She didn't have time to watch the video. I don't, she I don't always time to these bitches, so I don't know who you're talking about. But again, let's go back to the back. If you want to unlock it for us, we'll, we'll meet you halfway, Colton. Decisions, decisions. Will he open the bag, or will they open the bag? Well, tune in next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. But this isn't the Adam West Batman TV show from the 1960s and 70s. So let's get back with the show. I'm going to do that. All right, for being silent. I, I appreciate that. You can be silent and unlock it at the same time. Okay, we'll stand by. Make sure nobody gets hurt here. We'll do it the safest we can. As soon as you unlock it, we'll get into your backpack. We'll search your stuff. And then we'll get on with what you came here for, partner. I don't think you have a legal right to compel me. I can protect my passcodes. And now they'll vandalize me. I want you to protect your passcodes. I just want you to unlock the lock. I don't feel like it. Fair enough. Why would I? Why would I help you? I'm going to complain about you guys not doing your job. There's two objects. You search them, say we can search you and your stuff. So if you unlock it, we're going to have to cut it. I don't want to cut it. We're going to have to cut my bag open. Yes. That's what we're, so for me to file this police report, I have to have my bag cut open. I have nothing to do with the other. I have nothing to do with All these are obstacles in my way. They tried to be nice, they tried to work with you, but you just had to make it difficult. So now they have to cut open the bag. Okay, so he took that right to the edge of the cliff, and when he was looking over the edge, he wimped out. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna try and have me violate. Well, I just wanted to know if you were probation officer. Yeah. All this to file a complaint. What is she doing handling the papers? You said you weren't gonna take the complaint. Now you're holding the complaint? I'm not taking it. You're not taking it. Why are you holding it? Are you allowed to touch? Yes, I am. The complaint. By the way, why did you leave 
my glass out in the concrete like that. That's expensive as a motherfucker. I open the bag to prevent you from vandalizing my property. You gonna go and do it anyway? Yeah, that's another thing. Why does it take six police officers an hour to take a report? That's not what I'm, uh, that's not what I'm on probation for. Yeah, and you see how they say it was going to cut me the ribbons uh, that Nike was holding? And he also has that shit on his Instagram about me being paid by the church to retaliate against him for you stand, him standing outside of church and yelling at my stuff. Well, mostly it's just you. But that's only because it's called... That's what they're called. Creators. Yeah, the term for that is creator. He spends the next few minutes after this whining and crying about his rights being violated, the typical fraud of BS. You know how it goes, blah, 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 blah.